see big backups forming in most areas. So, for example, southbound I-5 from the West Seattle Bridge all the way down through the Duwamish Curves, through South Center and down to 200th, that's going to be very heavy traffic. It's actually not bad once you get past 200th, but when you get to Federal Way, 320th, solid all the way down through Fife. Both directions of I-5 really struggling in Tacoma. I'm taking a look at Highway 16 now. Westbound is quite slow before you even get to the Tacoma Narrows Bridge, and it's going to remain that way all the way through Gig Harbor, and uh, it's going to actually be pretty tough almost into the Purdy area. We have solid slowdown southbound I-5 out of Lakewood to DuPont. In Olympia area, it's really starting to jam up southbound I-5 from Lacey to the exits to 101, and 101 southbound is really struggling now from, uh, it looks like, at least Mud Bay Road over to I-5. This is an example of what we're dealing with. We have quite a bit on the east side as well, and we do have uh, west of Tiger Mountain on Highway 18 westbound at Issaquah Hobart Road, the right lane blocked with a collision. This is good traffic is brought to you by Hallmark. Valentine's Day is Thursday, February 14th. Share your love with new Hallmark Paper Wonder Cards, the pop-up cards that show you or show how much you care. Find them wherever Hallmark cards are sold. Next, come on traffic, 224. Now the Como forecast, how long will the snow last? At least through tonight and probably part of tomorrow morning. Possibly another snowstorm headed our way. Well, not storm, let's say snow event headed our way Sunday night into Monday because that's still developing. We don't know exactly how bad it might be. For the rest of today, several inches of snow is a safe bet here in Seattle. That means up to six or seven inches of snow. It's not out of the realm of possibility, though, for ten inches or more for some of us. It's so strange. The system that's moving through, it's so quick and it's so strong that it's hard to tell exactly what range of snow accumulation will hit even in your own neighborhood. Right now, all we know is that it's snowing for sure and causing a lot of delays in our traffic. And it's 33 in Seattle at Como News. Stay connected. Stay informed. Seattle's only 24-hour news station, Como News. Bill O'Neill at the editor's desk. I'm Taylor Van Sice. Headlines that we're following today, stop closed about even today amid lingering trade worries and slowing global growth. We'll have your full money report coming up in just a few minutes. And the president ordering flags to be flown at half-staff today to honor the late former Michigan representative John Dingle Jr. He passed away at the age of 92. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos said he was the target of extortion and blackmail by the publisher of the National Enquirer. He posted an explanation and email exchanges between his representatives and the America Media Group. Covering this for the Washington Post, Margaret Sullivan, who spoke with Como's Bill O'Neill. First off, Margaret, a disclaimer, Jeff Bezos does own the Post, and the Post is mentioned occasionally in his explanation and the emails. Does any of that play a role in your coverage? It really doesn't. Uh, Bezos does not have anything to do with the editorial content of the Washington Post. He is the owner. We're glad to have him because he's put us on a good financial footing, but he really doesn't control or contribute to the editorial content of the paper. Okay, so what do we know about what Bezos had to say? So, you know, he filed this very stunning blog post. Uh, interestingly, he used Medium, which is a, a kind of a neutral platform, and basically said that the National Enquirer had tried to extort him, tried to uh, blackmail him by saying that they would publish embarrassing photos of him, and they've already published some of his text messages. Um, if he didn't make a statement that said there was that his investigation had shown that there was no political reason for their uh, what they were doing and you know he saw this for what it was which was seemingly extortion or blackmail and rather than agree to what they were asking for he put it all out there publicly which I think was the right thing to do it's he has the kind of resources everybody's uh, trying to get to 99 to North stand like that but the worrisome thing forget is about it if this is the National Enquirer's way of, of conducting themselves there are a lot of people who don't have the ability that, that Jeff Bezos has <laughs> Five South. If you don't hit the brakes, you'll crash into our front door. But please don't. It's our front door. The joint's easy to find with more signs than a street corner on election day. And you'll notice the call to a six lawyer sign. That's our number two. A hundred years ago, this building sold gas.